Okay, everyone. Hello. Arrow here. That's right. Eridos 12. Like I said, my name is Eridos 12. And today, I'm doing something I haven't done in two months almost. I call it Roastrap Dive. Last time we actually did this, we were working on pseudo instance. Now, we are working on color. So, with that being said, let's look at what we got here. So, I've got color here. We got all these brick colors, things like that. Well, I think we're missing something. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So as you just saw, I uh, inserted something, right? The uh, color picker UI was missing. Another thing that we were missing is what we need for today, which is the matte color palette. So that is being kept. Now, the thing is, when we do this, um, you'll be able to pick any color you want. I believe so I think you might want to make this scroll wheel enabled so that you can pick any color it doesn't have to be one thing it can be another one anyways uh, let's get to it so what we gotta do now is review color and actually see what it's all about so, let me get the website. Roastrap.github.io is the website for looking this up. So, let's see, it's color. So, color is basically um, material design. That's why I called it matte color palette because it's material design. It might come in handy here. So, uh, yeah. So the thing is, we want to actually add in some colors. Well, this is what I'm thinking we can do with the colors. We'll have to look at the material design palette first, though. Because we want to make sure that we're doing this right. I think we go red, blue. Let's see. Red, blue teal or maybe we'll just do this we'll do the rainbow all right we'll do the rainbow so in that case uh, yeah let's see oh yeah I forgot one thing we have to put in here so self dot UI that palette content wait a minute wait a minute hold on self dot palette change it's been a while since I've done this so bear with me connect function and it will do palette if palette 
equals It should be scheme instead. Because we'll do manufacturer later, honestly, when it comes to this. So, self UI that palette content. Dot UI page layout jump to and then for this one we'll do maybe palette oh this is what you do palette dot dot color palette because remember we have to deal with it like it is so yes Anyways, that's what we have here. So the next thing we're going to do for sure is this. So we've got color. And um, basically we have that. So I'm thinking instead of doing color UI dot name for this, we'll do oh yeah, we can do that. Numeral So the numeral is actually important. Color UI dot numeral dot name or actually dot value, sorry. This is what we do. We have the value right there. So we're going to take this and for sure we're going to do this right now we're going to do an else if statement and then we're going to do color no wait, scheme and then we'll do um, P in pairs color or actually we'll just do red oh let me check the file because honestly you want to check your files when you're dealing with this because this one is a little trickier oh just like it is on the site okay good 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 just making sure red orange Remember, we're doing Roy G. Biv here. So that means we're going with orange, then yellow is next. Then we'll do green, blue, indigo, and purple which is my mom's favorite color by the way <laughs> just a little tidbit I like to throw in or is it violet I don't know it's purple purple violet they're both the same thing anyways uh, for I2 V2 in pairs color V, do, and basically what this is doing is it's going to create buttons all around for each number. So that means we're going to have to use I2 for that. So we got the color button, we got the background color, which is V2. And then basically what we do here is we do V and then we'll do 
this. We won't add a destroy like that. So basically we'll do B dot color or B dot numeral. Oh actually wait. You know what? I gotta find it. So we'll do local n equals instance dot new int value n dot name equals numeral. The reason why I'm doing this is because on the color palette for material, the colors are by number, as you can see in the files and everything. So n dot value equals uh, let's just say oh yes right 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 v2. Now I know I'm not really detailing the properties so. Let me just go through those just in case you want to learn how those work. If you want to use to RGB string, that's what you would use to get the color like on a website or something. It has two parameters, the color and then the optional one is the alpha. Same thing with the hex string. Hex strings, eh, they're mainly used on websites and maybe other places too. I used to actually use do websites before I did Roblox. So I actually know this by heart. Um, from hex, well, basically it's a digit number. Like they have in JavaScript, they can do like zero and then X and then, you know, the number numeral. Or you can do with, with a, you know, a number sign and then whatever the uh, hexadecimal value is. To hex, you basically convert the color it's that simple yeah I know this is a weird weird thing but we're just finishing off with color in terms of the color picker so anyways we will do I2 for this because remember you need the, the numeral and then for this we got V2 V2 is what we use for the color So the, the name always stays the same when it comes to these, but the rest is different. And here's what we do here. To memorize it, we'll do an underscore and then I2. So, yeah. And this will always be in the scheme color palette because it's a scheme part. So be scheme buttons. And basically that's it right there. So let's test it out. And see how it works. Oh wait, this is actually the brick color palette. So I'm thinking when we deal with this, we should do, hold on, this is the wrong script, sorry. We should do not brick, but scheme. Yeah, because scheme is better, honestly. Didn't work. Oh yeah, I forgot we got a color three here, so you gotta put a three there. Remember this is color, not brick color. <laughs> Silly me. And we've got an instance. Oh yeah, I forgot. I completely forgot about that. Um I think it's scheme buttons instead of sheen buttons you get the idea the C didn't come out right okay let's just try it a third time table expected got 
coolly. Huh, interesting. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's the other bug that I had to fix. Sorry about all these bugs. As you can see here, there's reds. But, uh... I forgot it was supposed to be palette.name. Or actually, wait, I know what it is. Self.ui palette content. And I'm a little bit under the weather today. It's always like that in the summer. When you have a runny nose and and everything. Anyways, um that should fix that. Because it is the palette picker after all. Oh, and it's in the middle. Okay, that's good. Uh, for this one, should have been table, right? Hold on, hold on for a minute. Two does not equal table. Now you might want to cover the accents because there is some accents in here. We will not cover accents like that yet. So. And basically, uh, these colors, like for example, this one is a different color. Oh, and I forgot to parent it too. Equals B. So, yeah. So it works in a sense, but it doesn't show up. So we got to fix that too. Here's how we're going to do that scheme. And basically what we do here is we uh, we take this put that down here and what we do is we take the name put a space color UI because remember we have the color colors name and the numeral And then the color should be the self dot current value. Or actually it should be this. It should be uh Yeah, basically this. Sorry if my nose is running. So yeah. I'll just have to deal with it. Anyways, we are at least 21 minutes into the video, or less. Oh, and it works. Look at that. You have different colors, different things right there. That is the scheme layout. Some of these you cannot see, though, because of how dark they are. And in fact, let me explain how that works. So at the top is the highest spectrum in terms of lightness on a color. So for example, red 50 is almost like in the pink range. And then you have the darkest, which is really dark, gritty colors. Like for example, 900 is the darkest color you can get when it comes to red. Now the reason why we didn't color cover accents yet is because of the um, well, we could do accents actually. I think we should do accents. So I'm going to do them last. Lastly, so that means this. Okay.
So what we'll do is we'll take this this table thing and we'll do that. Else if and we'll do I two equals accent then for I three V three in pairs V two do Now remember, this is going to use the same system just like the material design, which means whenever you have an accent, there's an A before the numeral. So this is how that works. Okay. Dot dot A. Okay, and then we'll do A local A equals instance dot new bool value a dot name equals accent a dot value equals true a dot parent equals b so basically what we'll do here is dot dot accent and basically we have that so what we'll do next is this okay put that in so we'll do if color UI find first child And then we'll do accent. Sorry, that's the uh, computer when it does stuff. Yeah, that. Else. And then we'll put it accent. Take this, copy it, or cut it first. Cut and paste is better for this because we have to like you know do that and then I'll just make this as an A right here and then we'll do accent and pretty much that so let's test it out and see how it works I think we're making great timing right now regarding this. So, oh wow, we got an error. Color three expected got table. So I'm going to go here and do weird. That's really weird. I think it's in, yeah, it's in 95. Okay. V3. V. And uh, basically that's it. I think it should work now. So, let's see here. What we got? Yellow 500. Got brick. Got nil. Wait a minute. I think I know what they're talking, what that says. So, you change color, right?
Yeah. Got nil. Huh. Weird. I think I'm gonna be a while. So we've got accent. And let me check the files again. Hold on. I'm kinda confused here. Yeah, that's weird. There shouldn't be a problem. Got nil because... Oh, wait, 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 wait. V? Is there? But then you've got that. Interesting. V2. Ninety-eight. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's an issue that I've never seen from this before. Honestly, it's weird. Did we do it right? Accent, yes. Color, yes. 46. Oh, wait a minute. It's I2. Let's see, I3. Sorry. Anyways, uh, yeah, okay. Let's try it. Ah, it works. As you can see, the A is right there. So this is orange A700, orange 200, 900, 700, red A700. And if you go down the line, I only give out the A seven hundred stuff, which is kind of weird, if you ask me. But you get how the idea is supposed to work. Basically, the color of the scheme, you have accents, you have regular colors, and you have the rest. So, yeah, we're good. Anyways, my name is Eridos Twelve. I will see you in the next tutorial, which should be, if I can...